I missed y'all last week. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did. Uh, we had a friend and her mother over to join my husband and I and had a lovely day. They all, everybody pitched in and we cooked and it was great. So, today is the last day of November. I cannot believe it. December 1st is tomorrow. And I hope y'all are getting some of your Christmas shopping done. I did some online and um, spent way too much at uh, Black Friday, but that's another story. Okay, let's see what's in store for you today. I decided that for my next um, Chris, my next stamp camp, I wanted to do some ornaments. And um, the one I'm going to show you today is not new. It's been around for a long time. There's several videos out there. Uh, but I am, let's see, Rachel Tessman is the uh, demonstrator that I watched do this. And it's a lot of fun. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. There you have an ornament made of our DSP. And if you don't know what DSP, that is Stampin' Up! Speak for our designer series paper. That is totally awesome. Okay, I'm going to hang this back up out of the way for a minute. And let's, uh, okay, one thing off the subject. I... Let's see. I, uh, oops, I thought my camera might be backwards. I didn't check it. Okay, there we are. Now you don't have to read upside down, okay? Here's uh, my website where you can uh, check out shopping and uh, all of my cards that I've made are there and you'll find a lot of information. If you want to reach me by email, it's laura at stampinatthebirdnest.com. Oh, today's the last day for the host code, and tomorrow I'll be having another one up on my site. So you can go to stampinatthebirdnest.com and um, find, I think, what you need there, but if you can't, I'm always available and will help you any way I can. Now, I was working on Christmas cards right before y'all started watching me, I hope, and I ran out of snail. Uh, I'm still calling it snail. This is our stamp and seal. It's our tape runner, and um, I don't know if everybody knows how to uh, change the cartridge or not. So they have refills and let's see if I can get it open here. Okay, oops. Well, it's coming out the back side. Whatever works. Okay, now you see the stamp and seal right here at the bottom. I'm going to lower this a little bit so maybe you can see a little bit better. Oops. Now I've got things out of whack. Okay. Let's go back where we were. <laughs> I'll just hold everything up. Okay. Now, um, oops. One of the punches just popped open. Okay, when you get to the end of your your uh, seal, stamp and seal, you'll see a red thing there, and it'll stop rolling, so you, there's no, um, you know, no thought about it. It does it on its own. Now, this is really important. When you take this out, you need to clean up your um, case, I use a, I keep a, um, those little Steri uh, alcohol wipes in my drawer so that I can clean up uh, glue and all that stuff. But be sure that you, I call them glue boogers. I spent too much time in kindergarten. Um, anyway, make sure 
that all of that is clean. Okay, so and do it on both sides. And see, here was some right there. Okay, then these are pretty much a no brainer. All you have to do is match up the holes and pop it in. Okay, now. That's just an extra little freebie y'all got today because I'm not going to be using the um, snail. Anyway, the stamp and seal, I cannot get the, the name right. Okay, when um, I said that I was going to show y'all how to make this really easy, simple little ornament, all you're going to need is either 6 by 6 DSP that comes in our little packs, like so, are the 12 by 12 sheets. Now, um, you can make this any size you want. A 12 by 12 would be really, really big. 8 by 8, pretty good size too. This is 6 by 6. And what I did was I took two sheets of designer series paper that were six by six and I used our paper trimmer. Now the paper trimmer comes with a little blade that will score and a blade that cuts. It has numbers all along here and at the bottom Oops. And also, when you go, if you have paper that's 12 by 12 you're trying to cut, you can use, pull that little arm out, and then it'll go back in place when you're through with it. Now, the thing I love about this is the numbers here, there's a one inch on this side and there's a one inch on this side. So I am, and it's so wonderful, it'll cut two, maybe three at a time, but it definitely cuts two pieces of the thin designer paper. And all you do is just line it up, pull down once, and there you have it. I've cut four strips of paper. This runs $25 and it is worth every single penny. I use it almost every day. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to pretend that you saw me uh, cutting all these strips. So this was uh, two sheets of six by six. So that gives you 12 one inch strips. Now, what you're going to do is punch a hole in both ends of these. And this was a little tip I saw somewhere that when you're wanting to center your, your hole, I punched a one inch square or you can cut a one inch square, place it where you want it, and I am using our crop, the crocodile that we used to sell. And it will go through, oops, I need to move that back just a bit. It will go through all these layers. So you can find that little hole in there and punch. Okay, now you're going to line them up real good and do the same thing on this end. So I'm gonna punch right there. Okay, now this is the fun part. And I've used the same paper. I could do it on this side or I could do the stars but I think it's easier to see right here. It's um, 
cherry cobbler and I'm not sure what else but with gold and white so it's real pretty all right so you've got your strips ready now you're going to need a piece of ribbon and you know what I know everybody tries to save and I do too but when you're doing a project go ahead and give yourself some extra length Maybe you can use the scrap for a bow or something else, but it just causes a lot less frustration. So, now, and another tip I want to show you is that when you are trying to thread through a little bitty hole, cut your ribbon so that it's at a sharp angle, and that will help you. Okay, so let's get this all lined up again, and I'm going to start right here. Oops. I'm going to turn my light back on. It's kind of cloudy out there. Okay, now I can see better. Okay, go through all the holes. If you have to do a few at a time, you can do that. Come on. I just told them about you. Don't act up. Do y'all talk to anything and everything like I do? Well, this one's not wanting to cooperate. Let me do it a little bit sharper. Oops. Okay. All right, got it through that one, I think. I think I should have, maybe should have used the bigger, there it goes, the bigger um, hole punch, but this will work. Okay, there we go. So just thread, oops, thread this through all of the layers, okay? And When you have all of them on, you're going to make a loop. All right, there we go. Okay, that's the hardest part of this. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is, now I put a little tag on this. But you're going to make a loop on the inside, okay? And then, and like I said, leave, in fact, I'm going to do it on the outside. I think that'll hold it better. Okay, so make a loop with your bow, and this is what will hang on the tree. And then... Just make a knot, and if don't cut anything till the very end, because if this isn't big enough, you may want to do it again. All right, there we go. And. Just keep sliding it down and it didn't really come out as big as I want so just kind of loosen the ribbon up and you should be able to make it a little bit longer okay so let's see if that's gonna now you know this this did just fine when I did it and I wasn't on camera. So, we're going to start over again. I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, now, here we go. I'm going to try to tie it down where the two meet. But sometimes that's a little harder to do than you think it is. All right, 
I think this time it's going to work. All right. Ta-da. We finally got it. Okay, this is what you're going to use to hang on your tree. And then this side is going to be for the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to angle that again. See if we can get it through easier this time. Okay. There we go. You know, you can always put a piece of tape on the end of your ribbon, and that will help, too. Okay. So here we go. Okay. And see how it's starting to bend? Now, I think that you, if you were to make the hole bigger and uh, help a child, I think a child could easily make this. But I do think the hole needed to be a little bit larger. I used a 1 8 inch punch, and I think I've got a quarter inch tip. Okay, now, this, oh shoot, look at that, came right out. That's because I cut off that other bow that wasn't doing right. Okay, scooch down. Get in here. Okay. Then when you get all these together, I'm going to tie a knot at the very bottom. And let's see if I can get these through. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, you need to decide about how thick you want it. And I think this will be about the size that I um, did on that one. So when, when you get to where you want it, the size you want it, you need to put a knot here. Okay? All right. Now you still have a little that you can trim off. And that is how you make it. Now, the next thing you want to do, just so you won't see me lick my fingers, I'm going to use my, what do you call this? Fingertip moistener. And I'm going to spread out. Okay. So this is the way they come out. So just spread them out. One goes this way, one goes the other way. Back and forth, you can do from the bottom if you want, until all of them are spread open. Okay? So that is the way you make a paper ornament. Isn't that adorable? I was trying to see if maybe you could, um, oh, there's one that didn't get separated. You just have to play with it until all of them are um, showing and separated. But anyway, I don't know this for a fact. You might could put a couple of pieces of candy, maybe some kisses in there and it could be a little treat box. And I've seen these made out of not just Christmas. I did, used to do these for Halloween, and they're just adorable. Um, you can use them for birthday, anything. It's a good way to use up some of your designer series paper you have around. And I just think it's a fun project. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. And... Um, I'm going to be a little shorter than I usually am. Now, let me just uh, point this out. On the green one, I did a tag using our inked and tied punch pack. Two punches come with this. And the price is $40, and it makes a great star. Now, because we don't have nested punches, 
I cut one out in gold foil and one out of the DSP, designer series paper. And what I did was I took a glue dot. Did you know it's a lot of times it's easier to put your paper on there and then it'll come right off. I'm gonna do it again, just so you can see. And I could have left them loose, but I wanted them to be, to look like kind of a layer. So I just offset them so that it would look like a layer. All you have to do is punch your hole, tie a little bit of linen thread. I adore this thread, so, my, so many uses for it. And it's thin, you can wrap it around several times. A lot of times when I go to make bows, I'll do double, double pieces or even triple to give it a little more body. And just tie it on, and that's that. Now, let me just say this, that if, sometimes they keep going inside each other. So if you wanted to put a little glue dot maybe on the inside that would hold it together you can do that too okay enough said i am so happy to be with you i uh, was out for thanksgiving and then i had a, a personal day that i had to take so here are the two baubles and I just think they're adorable. You can always put some sparkles on them. You know, me and uh, glitter and um, rhinestones. And then you have them ready to go on your tree. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great rest of November and a great beginning of December 1st on tomorrow. Again, let me just show you my website. It's Stampin' at the Bird Nest. Dot com. You can email me at laura at stampinatthebirdnest.com and the November host code that is only, group, is only good through tomorrow. I mean today. So there it is right there. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me and I will be seeing you next week. Bye. Love y'all.